When I was seven years old, I watched the movie Star Wars for the very first time. And on my way back home in the car, I decided to become a robot scientist, and it never changed my mind, and I'm here today. My name is Dennis Hong. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering at Virginia Tech and the founding director of Romella. Robotics is really a really wide field from one end of the spectrum, from more the mechanical sciences, mechanical engineering, kinematics design, to the other end of the spectrum, more the computer science side of artificial intelligence and anything in between. You really need to know everything to develop a full system. We first try to generate walking motion just by, you know, almost like a stop motion animation, just creating the motion of legs and hopefully it's gonna walk. And it turns out that that's not the case. Both Charlie and Darwin use a method called ZMP, Zero Moment Point Control Method. ZMP walking is more like a robot walking, trying to keep my ZMP right under my foot. So as long as you can create a motion that the ZMP is under your foot or the foot support polygon, then theoretically you gotta be stable. Humans walk in a very different way. First of all, when you walk, you swing your leg. You swing your leg, catch the fall, stand up again, and then you fall forward and you swing your leg and your body also swings forward. Now, ZMP is probably the most stable way to implement bipedal walking. The problem is, inherently, ZMP method can only work on smooth, hard, uh, flat terrain. So the next uh, step in bipedal walking is a good example is our new robot called Sapphire. You probably know the big dog from Boston Dynamics, the very impressive four-leg robot. Think of uh, Sapphire as a two-leg version of the big dog. People, when they see our robots, because they watch sci-fi movies like the iRobot, and they say, wow, this robot Charlie walking, this is really neat and cool. But why can't, why doesn't it jump? Why doesn't it run? Power source is a big problem. The batteries that we use, lithium polymer batteries, can, uh, uh, for example, power up Charlie for only about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, better actuators that mimic uh, biological muscles better. We need more compliance and different way of doing force control. So all of these uh, component technologies need to catch up, to be catched up to develop the next generation robotics. In about 10 years, uh, hopefully we'll start to see a more domestic robots that can actually help people uh, in the home. You want these robots to use tools to develop for humans. You ask the robot, hey, fetch me a beer from the fridge. You do not want to have a special refrigerator just for the robot. You want the robot to open up the door of the fridge or pick up the phone, use the scissors, all the tools designed for humans. Thus, I believe uh, developing human and robots is very important.